Hello everyone. I hope you are all doing well. I'm Manhar and welcome back to Amas Safety webcast. In today's video, we are going to learn the steps on how to configure the required multi-factor authentication to join devices setting in Microsoft to enter ID. Multi-factor authentication should be mandatory when users are adding devices to the Microsoft Entra ID. This ensures that compromised user accounts cannot register unauthorized devices to your directory. When this setting is enabled, users who are adding devices from the internet will be required to complete a second authentication step before their devices can be successfully joined or registered to your directory. Microsoft recommends that organizations use the register or join devices user action in conditional access to enforce multi-factor authentication. This control offers more granular configuration of multi-factor authentication for registering or joining devices instead of the current tenant-wide policy. Administrators can customize this policy to fit the security needs of their organization. This option is not available with the Microsoft Entra ID free subscription. So with the Microsoft Entra ID free subscription, you will need to use a tenant-wide policy to require multi-factor authentication for device registration. Let's take a look at how we can do that. We need to access and log into the Microsoft Entra Admin Center. You can access Microsoft Entra Admin Center using the URL entra.microsoft.com. For this video, we have used the Global Administrator account to log into the Microsoft Entra Admin Center. Expand Devices and click on Overview. Click on Device Settings. On Device Settings page, check the required multi-factor authentication to register or join devices feature settings. This setting allows you to specify whether users are required to provide another authentication factor to join or register their devices to Microsoft Entra ID. The default is no. If the feature configuration is set to no, multi-factor authentication is not required when adding devices to the current Microsoft Entra ID. Microsoft recommend that you require multi-factor authentication when a device is registered or joined. Before you enable multi-factor authentication for this service, you must ensure that multi-factor authentication is configured for the users that register their devices. Select Yes next to require multi-factor authentication to join devices setting to enable the feature. Set this device setting to No if you want to require multi-factor authentication using conditional access policy. Click Save to apply the changes. If successful, the successfully updated device settings message should be displayed. Once the configuration changes are saved, all users that are adding devices to Microsoft Entra ID must use multi-factor authentication. That's all for this video. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you have any questions or need further clarification, please leave a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on Microsoft Entra ID and other Microsoft related topics. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.